We are finally at my favorite part of this or any other project, the end. In this video, we're gonna turn all of that DC power th that we've created from our solar array through our charge controller and our battery and turn it into usable AC power. And that's why when the folks over at Ampeak pretty much magically made this Ampeak 3000 watt safe power inverter with pure sign technology, appear in my hands in order to try it out on this project, I was like, sure, let's do that. By the end of this, I'll tell you whether or not this very budget-friendly inverter is a good investment for your small off-grid solar array. Allow me to regale you with a story. Our first solar array was made up of used panels, a clearance rack charge controller, and a truck stop inverter, and it worked okay. But we could never figure out why the batteries on our cell phones would go out so quickly, our charging blocks would get super hot and stop working after a period of time, and a bunch of our other electronics would just act the fool out of nowhere. The problem at that time was I didn't know what I didn't know. And one of those things that I didn't know, out of the many things, was that the truck stop inverter that we were using was modified sine wave. Sensitive electronics, they do really poorly and they can even be damaged by a modified sine wave inverter. So I've made it a personal rule of mine. I will only buy pure sine inverters because I may not need it for this application, but who knows? Maybe I take it out of here, do something else in this area and use it for another application that does require pure sign. So we're gonna just follow the instructions which is a new thing for me. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm actually gonna put the inverter on the bottom. Go ahead and tighten that down. For this application, I'm not too worried about putting in a breaker just because this inverter has built-in overload and overcurrent protection. Plastic nut. This is the liability to having sausage fingers. One thing I really like about it is that it has a display that shows the wattage, what the voltage input is from the battery, what the battery's uh, state of charge is. It has all this information here, and also what output voltage at how many hertz. There's like a lot of information on this little display for what is a pretty economical choice for uh, an inverter for a small solar array. So I'm actually kind of impressed by that. I'm gonna go turn the hose on. Victory! So the inverter worked. It did a great job. There's plenty of power left for the, uh, the small heater that's gonna go in there for the winter, which we're not gonna install right now because it's 8,000 degrees here. This is a really economical, safe, high quality inverter for a small application and I would totally recommend it. So if you wanna pick one up, check out the link in our bio. And that concludes our solar installation. And I hope you guys learned everything that you needed to know to be able to do this. If you have any questions, be sure to hit me up. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. All this work so I could recover a frickin' extension cord. The pump coming on scared the shit out of me.